dystopians, utopians. Do you believe in reincarnation? What a heck of a trade today for Mac Jones's career. First, you're studying under uh, uh, Nick Saban at Alabama. Tremendous success. Had a Pro Bowl year with Bill Belichick. Don't let it fool you all the hoopla. Now he goes and gets traded to Jacksonville, right? Because here's the thing, what happened in New England at the end, that doesn't matter to me, dude. You inherited a situation, you know, they already say in the 48 Laws of Power, even though I don't believe in practicing all that stuff, but like, you know, never inherit the shoes of a great man or woman for that matter, because you don't really want to deal with the, the stress, right? It's just not, a, it's a defeatable situation. And so he goes in there, he still makes a Pro Bowl appearance. Obviously, B Hoodie is going through an identity crisis. And then it's kind of like Todd Bowles in Tampa, inheriting the Tom Brady after the Bruce Arians run and uh, 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 Tom Brady run. And then Tom Brady leaves. He gets himself Baker Mayfield, who ironically enough, reminds me exactly what's going to happen with Mac Jones in 2025. This year, I got Sam Darnold. But next year, I got Mac Jones as the comeback guy, uh, like how Baker did, how Geno did. This is going to be a situation where you get to sit under a Super Bowl winning coach in Doug Peterson, who also helped get... His former draft classmate, uh, 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 Trevor Lawrence, back on track after that one year with Urban Meyer, speaking of uh, Diamond Standard College coach greatness, got Trevor Lawrence, who I deemed as a can't miss prospect, basically Andrew Luck status. And he gets back into uh, the good graces of being a Pro Bowl quarterback and um Doug Peterson did well even with Jalen Hurts. Just the way he handled the starting situation was murky. But now you get a year and you get to watch also. Not only do you study under a Super Bowl winning coach, but you're also got a situation where Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, he's going to show you how to approach the game every day. Even though I've always felt Trevor was better than uh, 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 Mac Jones, that goes without saying. But you get to watch your peer every day do it. So you got the... The person who's talking to you and teaching you, and then you got someone who you're watching actually do it. And this is going to be tremendous for whoever gets him in free agency. I'm so happy for him. Jacksonville, get your ass out there and start signing some weapons, though, okay? Uh, uh, you know, you had Ridley. He was he kind of masqueraded as a one, more like a two. Um, in terms of WR2 second option, they need to get them a certified star at the, at the wide receiver. This is the offseason for it. You know Cincinnati's not going to be re-signing everybody. Tyler Boyd might hit free agency. He would make a great number two. I think Christian Kirk was solid. They got to find themselves, but they got to find themselves a real pro bowler though, and and get themselves a nice security blanket for that matter at tight end. And let's keep on moving this forward. But congrats to Mac Jones, career back in realignment. All the best, Utopians. I'll do better next time. Global out.